Cancer, welcome back to Shacy Tarot. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Let's see what's going on in your energy. Remember, this reading is for anybody with a Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it doesn't resonate now, it definitely can in the future. I've had many clients come back to me and tell me, yeah, some things did resonate, some things hadn't yet, and then some things fell into place later. So just keep that in mind. It is general. It is not personal. If you want a personal... Uh, reading that is at shacy.com go check that out down below you can go and check the website for reviews i thank all of you for your amazing reviews i really appreciate you all and i love reading for you all but a personal reading digs into your energy right because i look up your birth chart and um and we get much closer to your energy but this is for generally uh any cancer anybody with a cancer placement okay all right, and if this isn't you, this could be your person's energy. I generally pick up the other person's energy, which is what we want to know usually, right? It's cross watchers, you know, this could play out from your perspective. It could be vice versa, so keep that in mind. And stay till the end, or you're going to miss some messages from the person you're dealing with or will be dealing with in the next, um, the next little while. Like I've had things happen for me two months, six months, all the way up to a year, so keep that in mind, okay? All right, right off the bat, I'm pulling the tarot dice for those of you that are brand new. Welcome. For those of you returning, thank you for continuing to support the channel. <clears throat> Somebody's in a hurry. You are their wish, okay? Now, this could be somebody that has been patiently waiting for you to reach out, but this could be vice versa, okay? This is somebody that may have been defensive, argumentative. Interesting. This is somebody that I feel... Wants to come over, like overcome any kind of trials and tribulations, okay? This is somebody who's been thinking about you for a while, okay? So this is somebody that could be at a distance from your physical distance. I will show the Toro dice, but they are very hard for you to see. There's the two of wands, okay? So this is somebody that may be talking to their friends or family or anybody they trust about you, about how their heart is broken, how they're thinking about you, how they're trying to wait and be patient to hear from you see you this is somebody who's been hiding their emotions for quite some time i feel like they're really getting anxious impatient this could be you it could be them so remember again to flip those roles depends who i'm talking to okay uh, spirit is saying here that you've planted some seeds here you know and it's kind of like i'm waiting i'm wondering i'm trying to be patient I want to balance things out. This is my wish is to, to have something solid between us. My heart is broken. My heart is breaking. But ultimately, this is somebody hiding how they feel. Um, they may have a come across to you as kind of argumentative or defensive. Could be somebody that seeks maybe a lot of attention or gets a lot of attention. Hmm. Let's start digging. All right. So I've gone ahead and I've pulled the double decker vintage deck and I've ordered a new vintage deck from the 1970s, which I can't wait to, to get those as well. But for those of you that are brand new, this is 1960s and 1970s Zolar deck. Okay, so they are um, 64 and 54 years old. So it's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Let's see what's happening. I'm also going to get your person's energy now or who's coming towards you in the future using the traditional tarot deck and the mutual energies between you and them using our exclusive Shacy Prism tarot deck, okay? Don't forget to hit the like button. It's a fantastic and free way to support these free readings. I truly appreciate it. It only takes you a millisecond, but it means the world to other Cancerians. And it also helps others to understand your energy better. If you're a Cancer tuning in, it is a win-win for everybody by hitting that like button. It seems so small, but it's really not. Okay somebody really, really wants to manifest this new beginning. This is like, I want to create something new, something exciting, but I'm really kind of worried about it, stressed about it. I'm feeling guilty about it, maybe even, you know, it's kind of like, what if this doesn't work out? What if that doesn't work out? We're worried about what could go wrong rather than what could go right is what I'm getting. Okay, so I feel like you could be dealing with an air sign. We've got a fire sign here. Uh, we also have Pisces, Sagittarius energy here, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, 
And there you are, Cancer. There's a chariot. Wow. <laughs> Way to go. First one out the deck here. Okay, so this is about moving forward. I want to go towards my rightful path, okay? This could be travel. This could indicate that you're at a physical distance from this person, or it could mean that you meet this person on your travels, but that's not really what I'm getting. I'm getting this is somebody you already know that is thinking about you, getting anxious and fed up. They feel like they're waiting to hear from you, or maybe they were just waiting for you to show up and you haven't. This could be somebody you stood your ground with, okay? And, uh, <laughs> well, they were waiting for you maybe to calm down or cool down and reach out to them. I don't know. Why is a chariot here? Clarify the chariot. So chariot is major arcana. Major arcana, for those of you that are brand new, means that uh, we're, we're going through some major life changes, okay? They affect our life. Could be dealing with a king of pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, but this could also mean that you're moving forward to your towards your stability. You're working really hard on your career. For some of you, this could mean that your career requires travel or will require travel, okay? Um, so you could be coming off as the king of pentacles, or this could be somebody that you know that wants to work on your connection, sees you as their, their partner, their one that they're meant to be here with the chariot here. Uh, this could mean seven, ha, interesting, we've got the six to the seven to the eight of pentacles. So this is progress. This is somebody that's like, I want to balance things out. This is my wish. I do want a solid start with cancer. Mm, should I continue to wait or should I reach out? Should I continue to wait or should I reach out? I'm trying to be patient. I'm trying to wait. I want to work together. My heart's broken. It's like they're woohoo, woohoo, woohoo. And then it's, then it's like, okay, I want to overcome these challenges. Okay, then I need to stand up for this connection. It's like they're arguing with themselves. And so they want to come in here in the chariot and they want to put the work in. They want something solid with you. Six, seven to the eight of pentacles. Oh yeah. Add that other pentacle there. And they're like seeing you as the cat's meow. They see you as single, financially independent and doing well. And even it's, it's like they can't rest. They can't rest because they're thinking about you even while they're working. Okay. So they, they want to put work into the connection. They've thought a lot about it. Even like I said, while working, um, this could mean that they're trying to tie, I don't know why, this isn't going to be for all of you. They're trying to tie in their work, if it's something to do with traveling, into seeing you at the same time. They're definitely trying to figure it out. We have the two of wands twice, okay? So they're definitely trying to figure this out. Interesting. Okay. Can you reclarify the king of pentacles, please? So that could be you. It could be them. Again, it depends who's watching. Oh, Ten of Cups. So they see you as their whole enchilada. They see that they can, you know, have this equal give and take with you. They see that they want a solid start with you. They also feel like you would work well together. Maybe you work together already or have worked together in the travel industry. I don't know why I'm getting that. I never get that. But for some of you, that may apply. It's just coming to me. And for some of you, it could mean that you're going to work together or they see you working well together in the future. They may offer you something to do with work here. That is their wish is to work together with you on something. Interesting. Okay. Clarify the eight of pentacles. Clarify the eight of pentacles. OMG. We've got the ace of pentacles again. So double clarification of the ace of pentacles and the two of wands. So they're trying to make plans for the future of how to come towards you with the, this offer. This is their wish is to balance things out with you. Okay. They're getting tired of waiting. Somebody's getting tired of waiting. You or them. You may have stood your ground to this person. And so they went quiet. Um, they're trying to trust their intuition here. Okay, for some of you, they feel like you're getting a lot of attention. You're doing really well. So they may have come, become defensive if they felt you were getting too much attention and they're hiding their emotions that that bothers them, that you get a lot of attention or maybe you give others a lot of attention. Wow, I don't know why I'm getting that. I will pull the Tarot Dice in part two as well. So we'll pull it for uh, March, okay? Um, I forgot to mention that for those of you that are brand new, there will be a part two upper right hand corner. Let's say part two watch now, and that'll be an individual purchase. Okay. I will dig into, uh, March, 2024, 
with the tarot dice. I will clarify what we find here. I'm also going to get more messages from this person. I'm also going to dig into the next six months using the after tarot. So we're going to dig in from uh, February all the way to August. Okay, so we're going to try to see what the outcome is and the tarot of SEX, which I can't pull here. Okay, YouTube doesn't allow it. So I will pull it over there. We'll get the fun, intimate messages, what your person is thinking about you currently. Um, it, well, in March anyway. You know, this is the month of love. So let's see what's going on. Wow. Okay. So they are having memories of you or want to create memories of you. This is soulmate energy here. For some of you, have they imagine having children with you here or you've already got children or you met as children or high school sweethearts or school sweethearts. They, this person feels left out in the cold by you. Yeah, it makes sense. Look, five, six, seven, eight of pentacles. They want to balance things out here. They want success with you. They want your attention. They feel like you're not giving them anything. So you may have had to have stood your ground or set boundaries with this person. Why is the six of wands here again? Double clarification now of the two of wands, ace of pentacles and six of wands. Okay, so standing up for, over. okay, they want to stand up for your connection. They want you both to overcome whatever challenges you've been through, even if it's distance here, timing with temperance. They, they feel that you both could, could, if you work together on this connection, you can overcome anything. They're willing to stand up for this connection. OMG, OMG again, Ace of Wands again. So that's come out twice as well. They're very excited, okay? Um, now the Six of Wands used to be called the proposal card, but also the Six of Wands is like, you know, I'm making this announcement that I want this new beginning. So they're excited. They're getting anxious because it's like they want to rush in towards you and make this offer and say, I know, Cancer, we can overcome these things if we work together. We can overcome the distance, the timing, everything. Um, uh, and this, I feel this is hidden from you. They really want to stand up for this connection. They've been thinking about this a while. They feel like, you know, they've waited long enough, they've been patient long enough, or this is you. This could be you getting anxious and fed up and, and you, you saying, well, you know. <laughs> I see the happy family, the happy home with you, children, the future, if you want children or have children, whatever the case may be. I don't feel the same without you, five of pentacles. I, I, I don't feel the same without you, you know. I think about you while I'm working. I'm thinking about you while I'm sleeping, the nine of swords. I think about you when I'm taking a shower. <laughs> I bet they do. Um, <laughs> sorry, that just slipped, but we'll find that out with the Tarot of SEX. But no, it's like they're very excited about this. And it's kind of like they, they want to talk to you about it. Oh, yeah. Okay. They've looked at a different viewpoint, your viewpoint, or you're looking at their viewpoint and they just want to come together with you and they want to have a great time. They want to spend time with you here. They can't stop thinking about you again. They're thinking about you in this very sweet soul to soul energy. Like, you know, I want to make memories with you or I have memories of you. Hmm. Interesting. Clarify the three of cups. Okay, so some of you, they may feel like you've already walked away or distanced yourself from this connection because this is about, I haven't been emotionally fulfilled and I've been left in the dark by you. This is somebody who feels like I've been left in the dark by you and I feel empty inside and I feel like I'm just not getting my emotional needs met. So I feel like, you know, your person is seeing, seeing how they made you feel. They're recognizing that. Clarify the Eight of Cups. For some of you, they're going to tell you that they went through a breakup and they have a new beginning. So they had to wait. They, there's something that they had to sacrifice, like maybe moving. Could be a relocation here with the Chariot, the Two of Wands here twice. Clarify the eight of, eight of Cups, please, for Cancer. Oh, yeah. We've got the Ten of Swords here, but we've also got the World Energy. There's, there's something that maybe they had to sacrifice and walk away from. So they have been learning a lot in your connection. 
They've been missing you and feeling the loss of you. This connection felt very deep for them. They have memories of you. Whether you spent a couple of hours together, whether you spent a week together, a couple of nights together, or again, childhood memories and you got back in touch. This could be someone from your past or this could be a past soul to soul connection. You know, you met each other and you just haven't been able to get each other out of each other's mind. They definitely haven't. We've got heartbreak here. Okay, so they're they're heartbroken and and they they feel not the same without your energy around them. Even if you're not in their physical presence, it's it's your aura, the the feeling that they get when they just talk to you, even if it's messaging, like they just ace of wands, you know, uh, and and the ace of pentacles here twice, ace of wands has showed up twice. I mean, they're very excited to start something solid with you. It, it's not just about the passion. They they see a future with you and um, they, they don't feel the same without you. So this was not a balanced connection. I feel due to distance. I feel due to timing and because of certain sacrifices that had to be made. And I feel like they want to work together with you on this connection and feel that you both can overcome whatever these obstacles are that's how they're feeling okay but let's go ahead and see what's going on in this person's energy for cancer now we're coming toward them in the near future wow look at that so i feel like both your hearts have been breaking and for some of you like i said you've closed this door at least for now because they they weren't fulfilling you emotionally is kind of what i'm getting you can let me know in the comments how that resonates what's going on with the the uh, three of swords in this person's energy okay see so if they weren't willing to take this leap of faith towards you take a risk come towards you period to open this door with you to you know because they felt it was too much of a risk because of the distance wrong time whatever the case was sacrifice if they weren't you know willing or ready to make a sacrifice they are now because they're they, they can't you can't get over each other. This is what I'm seeing. You, you miss each other. You're not, they definitely are not feeling the same without you and they can't stop thinking about you. Like I said, whether they're at work or whether they're going for a walk or they're weight training or they're swimming or they're eating or they're working, like you're on their mind. You, uh, you, you put your mark on them. See, they're willing now to do whatever it takes. For some of you, they feel like a fool for breaking your heart and stressing you out and maybe playing games with you, but it's because they were trying to make a decision here. They feel felt like it was a risk. Because there may be something in their life they weren't ready to give up here with the hangman. So they kept everything in limbo and, met, you know, kept buying time or waiting or feeling they had to wait or... And for some of you, they really felt like monetary-wise, they didn't have enough, right? Five of Pentacles is, is feeling a sense of lack. Six, I need to balance things out. Seven, I'm working on my future and trying to figure out, you know, do I have enough money? Eight, I'm working really hard on something, on myself, on my money, on my job, on my career. It could be a new career. Um, I'm creating something brand new here so that I can offer you something, you know. I could be working with a group of people with the Three of Pentacles, really putting the effort in and, and uh, n you know, and they're waiting to, so they have enough money. They could have been buying time. That's kind of what I'm getting. They were trying to figure it out um, because at the time they weren't ready because of something that was in the way. And I'm feeling it's distance, money, and time clarify the five of swords clarify the five of swords please and cancer's person of interest energy why is the five of swords here why is the five of swords here five to the six of swords there you go so it's kind of like all right my heart's breaking i need to do whatever it takes to to move on i need to move forward i need to travel i need to relocate i need to do whatever i need to do to come towards cancer because my heart's broken they're recognizing that their feelings for you are so incredibly strong they can't forget about you no matter what they do and with the knight of swords it's driving them cray cray it's driving them nuts and and um and again this can be you again always feel free to flip the energies it could be both of you so they want to close the gap um but let's see what the mutual energies are with the Shacy Prism Tarot deck. Now, for, for those of you that are brand new, this is available at Shacy.com. The one that came out was Romantic Love Offer. So you both want to spend time with each other. You both are thinking about, you know, I 
I'd love to just, you know, sit with you and talk to you and, and get to know you better and be in your energy. You know, I, I definitely am feeling like that's how they're feeling. Let's see. So you've both been holding on to each other, each other's energy. So even if you've tried to move on, I feel for some of you here, you both haven't been able to because they're hanging on to your energy and vice versa. Okay, that's kind of what I'm getting. Some of you have walked away completely here with the Eight of Cups and the world energy, but some of you haven't. Okay, some of you have been taking this time to heal and to think about the future. All right, but you've both discovered here, you both miss each other. You're lonely without each other. It doesn't feel the same. Okay, and that is because there is a deep bond between the two of you. There is. It's right here. I'm going to clarify the Six of Cups in part two as well. Okay, um, but let's see what the mutual energies are and get messages from your person. Yeah, wow, that came up three times. You you both want to spend time with each other here. You're heartbroken, okay? You just, it's not feeling the same without each other's energy now. Um, when you were in each other's energy, I feel like you, you could just, you just knew the difference. You could feel the difference. So you need to speak your truth to each other here. You're both wanting to do that. Give each other a clear picture of how you're both feeling, okay? And you both are willing to put the work into this connection. But first, we must close up this gap because there's there's a gap here, okay? Um, I'm definitely feeling for many of you, there is a physical distance that they wish to close up. All right, let's go ahead and pull the messages from your person. What would they like to say to you? Ready? One, two, three. Okay, let's go ahead. First message. Destiny. I'm struggling to find the right path. So this, this, but it's like, they're going, yay, I found the right path. I feel like this person, um, your love interest here, I feel like they feel like you are their destiny because they can't get you out of their head. They're, they're going crazy. Like I said, they're going crazy here with the Knight of Swords and they're getting anxious here. Okay. So I have a feeling that, um, with the Six of Wands twice, the Ace of Pentacles twice, the Ace of Wands twice, the Two of Wands twice here, and the three of swords three times, they know that you are their person. They know that you are their person, okay? And hopefully, you know, you haven't walked away permanently and you're done. Um, but we're going to keep digging, so just hang on. Okay, holding back. I should have expressed myself better. So they regret not expressing themselves to you properly. So I have a feeling that that's what they want to do, okay? They want to take you out. They want to show you the passion, but they also want to show you they're serious. They're going to be very romantic. They're going to want to take you somewhere special. I feel I feel like they've been trying in their head to plan a lot of what, what to do, what to say, how to show you. Okay, so they've been afraid of what other people will, will think. So that could have been part of the sacrifice. Maybe they had to stand up to other people with the Seven of Wands. They had to fight for, they have to fight for this connection. And they were worried again, you know, how are they going to look to other people? How is this going to look to other people? That could be why the Nine of Swords shows up because the Nine of Swords is like, I'm worried about what could go wrong instead of what could go right. I'm worried about what other people think. I'm worried about what if, what if this is too much of a risk and, and you've already walked away and you've already closed this door, you know? Um, so definitely I'm getting that this person has fears surrounding this connection, but if they would have, or whether it's vice versa, would have expressed themselves better, I think that they would be more clear instead of feeling like, <clears throat> Like they, they don't know what to say or what to do. That's what I'm getting. Okay, let's get a couple of tarot charms. Leave me comments. Let me know how this resonates for you. Aw, there you go. They want to anchor this connection. There's the anchor, the golden, beautiful anchor. And that makes sense with the two of pen, like the ace of pentacles here twice. Okay, so they're making a decision here to, to take this leap. You are definitely in their heart. So for some of you, this is somebody from your childhood, your high school sweetheart, uh, whatever the case may be. Uh, this person wants to be loyal to you. Okay. They want to show you their loyalty to you. There's the dog right there. Okay. They want to be loyal to you. Okay. Ah, the letter O. First thing that came to me was you're the one. You're the one. You're the one. And they want you to trust them. 
that they are going to be loyal to you. Again, with the dog. So, because they feel like you are the one. And, and look at that. I'm getting the bell. So, and then I had the six of wands show up several times. So, this is an announcement. Ding, ding, ding. Like, <laughs> maybe they're coming to ring your doorbell. You know, maybe they're coming to ring your doorbell and, and, and they're going to surprise you. The fool energy can be somebody that shocks you, takes you by surprise, an unexpected visitor. Do let me know in the comment section if that happens. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start digging into part two. We're going to dig in again to March. Pull the Tarot of SEX. Get the fun, uh, intimate messages from your person, how they're feeling about you intimately. The next six months possible outcome. We're just going to dig. I'm going to pull the Tarot dice for March as well. Um, we're just going to get more messages from your person. I'm going to clarify. I want to clarify the Eight of Cups, the world. The hangman to see a much longer waiting. And I'm going to re-clarify the six of cups as well. We'll get the mutual energies, okay? And we'll see who or what is affecting your connection as well. So if you want to dig d deep with me, you can either click up above. Again, right hand. It'll say part two watch now. Uh, individual or click down below for those of you that are brand new there's a little arrow there I believe you just it's brings a description box up it'll say part two options there's a Shacy spiritual warrior membership there it gives you unlimited part twos a lot less expensive in the at the end of the day if you plan on watching a lot of part twos but if not you might want to do the individual purchase Either way, I thank you for tuning in. Please don't forget to hit the like button. Notification bell is very important because some of my repeat clients have told me that for whatever reason, it's it wasn't clicked after they clicked it. So just double check on that. Subscribing is absolutely free. I'd love to have you as a new subscriber. So for those of you using me, I'm going to be right there. For those of you seeing me next time, approximately five days or less, maybe a week, okay? Thanks so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. And bye for now.